Hey everybody, Dan here. I want to show you some of the cool, powerful new features in All One Effects 2021. First one I want to show you is the new Replace Color Filter. It allows you to change the color of an object within your scene. So I'm going to start over here. I'll go to my Effects tab, click on Add Filter, and select Replace Color. What Replace Color does is it lets you target a specific color range. You use the eyedropper tool to do that. So I'm going to grab the eyedropper. What I want to do is I want to change the color of her dress. So I'm just going to click on the red or maroonish color of her dress. Now in the bottom half of the filter, I can adjust the hue. So watch, I just drag that slider around and it's going to change it. Let's say I want to make her dress more of a plum color or a purplish color instead. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Now you notice it's also attacking some other parts of the photo that are similar to that same red color. If I use the range slider, I can determine how precise of a color range it needs to be. I'm going to use it at a very low range, so it's a very precise adjustment. And even then, it picks up her hair a little bit. And that's just because the hair has some of the same reds as her dress. So I'll just mask it in. I'll just use the masking brush. I'll hit the invert button. I'll make sure that my brush shape is the round. Oh, you guys got a sneak preview of one of the other new features you're going to see in just a second. And I'll make sure my brush mode is set to paint in. Now I'll just paint that in on her dress just to make sure I'm only changing the parts that I'm interested in. There you go. Let me turn that on and off. Red dress, plum dress. The next thing I want to show you are the new retouching tools. There's a brand new spot healing tool. This works like you're used to seeing in other tools and is non-destructive. It's really handy. I notice there's a bug up here. Let's zoom in a little bit and take a look at it. There it is. Look at that bug. That's the biggest bug I've ever seen. I'm just going to use that healing brush. I'm just going to paint over what I want to remove, and it's going to automatically sample another part of the photo and fill it in just like that. So the stuff from the green area is going to fill in the red area. The cool thing about it is I get to control how it blends and I can adjust it even later. So remember, all of your settings are non-destructive inside of OnFX, so you can go back and change it. Let's see if there's some other spots we want to get rid of while we're here. I'm zooming in really close. This is like 200% as well, so we're going to see lots of things. Looks like there's a few other small bugs. I'm just going to zap these little bugs. We should call it the bug zapper tool. Zap, zap, zap. There we go. Now let's tackle something a little tougher. You notice on our hat, there's a little emblem right here. I want to remove that. So I'll do the same thing. I just paint over what I want to get rid of. It's going to pick a neighboring area. Now in this case, that neighboring area doesn't work very well. I want to pick something that's more aligned with the hat band and will look better and more appropriate. There we go. Something like that. Let's jump back to fit view. Cool. All right. Now that's two of the new features. Let's keep going. The next one I want to show you is a really powerful tool called color sensitive gradients. I'm going to go over to my local adjustments here and I'm just going to add a local adjustment. I want to uh, darken the blue and make the blue in the sky a little bit more blue. So I can do that with my gradient tool here. I'm just going to select my gradient and I'll click and I'll rotate it around. There we go. So you can see that's darkening the sky for me already. Let's make it a little bit more blue here while we're at it. So there we go. That's made a nice dark, rich blue sky. But the problem is it's also made the top of her head darker blue and rich. We don't want that. So watch. Up here, there's a cool option called color range. If I turn that on, it's actually going to sample the color range right here out of the middle of the tool. And it's only going to apply that adjustment to that specific color range. And if I move the color range slider around, you can see how it works. I just drag the range up until I get just the area that I want to affect. Pretty cool. Let me turn that on and off so you can see. There's before and after. I was able to darken and enhance that sky without really affecting her at all. And of course, I can always use the masking brush to fine tune any of the adjustments that I make here. All right. The next one I want to show you is how you can use the new custom brush shapes. You may have noticed there's lots of cool new brushes. Rather than just the round shape, you can now use it to stamp all sorts of things. Let's add an extra cloud to our sky. So I'm going to click on the Add Adjustment here. We're going to use a local adjustment to do this. Let's change our shape. We'll go back to the brush. We're going to pick our shape. Look at all those cool shapes. There's eyelashes. There's geometric shapes, which are handy if you're trying to paint something along a straight line. There's lots of different nature textures, and you can add your own brushes to it. I'm going to add this nice big fluffy cloud. It's one that kind of works with this photo. So we'll grab that cloud. You notice how my brush shape changes to the shape of the cloud. I'm going to make it bigger here. 
Let's make a nice giant cloud out of it. And I'm going to change the feather down to zero. I want to make sure I'm painting with a color. I want to paint with a bright cloud color. So I'm just going to grab my dropper tool and pick one of these brighter cloud colors for it. There we go. And now I'll just paint right on top of my photo. There you go. And you can see how it's added in a nice new cloud that looks like it fits and matches our photo just like that. The last cool thing I want to show you is the full screen preview mode. If you hit shift F on your keyboard, it will take you into full screen preview. It'll hide all the stuff on the sides and you're going to see just your photo. It makes it a lot easier for working on a small screen like a laptop, or if you just want to be able to take a look at your photo with none of the distractions around it. And remember, you can hit the slash key anytime, especially in this mode, so you can look at your before and after. So there's our original photo before any work, and there's after doing a couple things with the new tools in On One Effects 2021. Thanks for watching.